Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. We are from Group Seven. My name is Mama Benodi Ahmad. My name is Mama Fis Jambi Ramli. And my name is Mama Aziz Ben Mama Shari. We will present to you our PBL task: AC Power Analysis, Power Factor Correction. This is our task one. The network consists of three loads are connected at three different nodes as shown in the figure one. You can see here. So we need to determine the impedance of each load, the main supply voltage, the current flow in each load, the real and reactive power losses, the total apparent power, real power and reactive power, and we need to draw the complete power triangle. This is a network parameter that given to us. For here, we need to change it to 7 km as refer to our group, group 7. So this is the circuit that has been constructed. So the four calculation, we need to start it at the load 3. First, we need to calculate the apparent power. We will get a 23.32K VA. And then, by obtain that, we need to calculate the impedance at the load 3. We will get a 2.47 ohm. And after that, after we having the Z3 and and voltage we can calculate the load at uh, load 3 current at load 3 sorry. and we, we, we will get 97.17 ampere after that the load at Z3 and Z4 can be series we get uh, 2.78 ohm As you can see here, this is the circuit that has been, uh, we already make it simply. Yeah. And we need to find the value of voltage at load 2 because it is not given. So, IL3 times with ZL3 will get 270.13 volt. Okay, we will continue our presentation with load 2 <coughs> By giving the power factor which is 0 0.85 We can calculate the angle If the positive, which means it's leading If negative, it's, it will mean lagging And then calculate the apparent power at the load 2 We can calculate it by using formula cos theta equal to power load 2 uh, over uh, apparent power load 2 this formula can obtain from the uh, power factor triangle or factor theorem law okay the value that we obtain is 17.647k angle negative 31.79 by obtain parent, apparent power sl2 we can calculate the impedance power at load 2. This is using a normal uh, formula which is uh, S equal to VI conjugate and then Z equal to V over I. We exchange the formula and then we obtain the S uh, load 2 equal to voltage load 2 uh, modulus uh, square over impedance 2. The value that we obtain is 4.13 angle negative 31.79. The load 2, Z2 and the load 3, Z load 3 can be parallel by using a form, uh, normal formula. So the value that we obtain is 1.98 angle 9.3 Y ohm. This is the circuit after we parallel. Uh, the Z2 it is the normal circuit have a resistor over here 
after we parallel it become like this by having the impedance zp and the voltage load 3 vl2 we can calculate the current i2 which is here by using normal formula ohm formula which is uh, v equal to ir we can uh, the value that obtain is 136.43 angle 7.4 ampere Z, the load ZP and Z5 can be series which is uh, the load at here and at here can be series so the value is 2.29 angle 18.89 find the voltage load 2 which is here because it is not given voltage VL1 can find here which is by using I square equal to time Z L load 2 which is obtain 312.42 angle 26.29 volt ok we will continue with load 1 load 1 the power factor is giving is 0 0.92 so the angle is 23.07 which means is uh, the system is laggy we follow the step uh, for the load 2 the step at load 2 will be using at load 1 calculate the apparent power by using the uh, same formula formula that obtain for the uh, triangle power factor and then we calculate the impedance at load 1 z1 by using a normal formula which is S equal to V I conjugate and Z equal to V over I we exchange the formula and then the result will be 8.98 angle 23.07 ohm the load 1 Z1 and the load 2 ZL load 2 can be parallel so the after the parallel we get we got 1.825 angle 19.74 ohm this is the circuit that after we parallel before this they have a resistor over here after we parallel series and parallel it become like this we can calculate the impedance which is ZT total impedance ZT which mean ZP2 plus over Z6 so the uh, the value is 2.35 angle 31.96 ohm okay we finish with the uh, impedance now we continue how to find main supply voltage to find the main supply voltage we need the total current because we already have a uh, uh, impedance total by using a normal formula the total current we got is 171.19 angle 6.6 .6 ampere then we can click uh, the water supply by using normal uh, ohms law which is vs equal to ir but this time we use z the result will be 4.2297 angle 38.56 volt Next, we will continue our presentation with total current and current flow at each load. So firstly, we already find the I total which is equal to 171.19 angle 6.6 .6 degree ampere. The I load 3, naturally 7.17 angle negative 18.96 degree ampere. Next, we can cal calculate the current at load 2, which is we use uh, the ohm flow. The formula is V, uh, v load 2 over Z2 over which is equal to 270.13 angle 16.71 over 4.13 angle negative 31.79 After that, we will get 65.41 angle 48.5 degree ampere next we will calculate the the current at load 1 which is use um, 
Ohm's law two. So we will get three one two point four two angle twenty six point two nine degree over eight point nine eight angle twenty three point zero seven degree, and we will get thirty four point eight six six angle three point two two degree ampere. Okay, next we will calculate the real reactive power loss losses at transmission line. Okay, for line one one to two, the real power is P one equal to modulus I T squared R, and we will get hundred seventy seventy one point one nine squared times by zero point two eight, and we will get eight point two zero five kilowatt. Next is reactive power, which is equal to modulus I T squared X, and we will get hundred seventy one point one nine squared times zero point sixty J, and the final answer is eight point two zero five kilobar. The apparent power we can use P plus J Q, which is eight point zero five kilo plus eighteen point four six three kilo J. And the and the answer is twenty point two zero four kilo angle sixty six point zero four v bar. Okay, for line two to three, the real power is I modulus I two squared R. So we will get hundred thirty six point four two squared times zero point two one. So the answer is three point nine one kilowatt. The reactive power is modulus I. Two squared x, so hundred thirty six point four two squared times by zero point four two j, and we will get seven point eight two kilobar. So the apparent power is three point nine one k plus seven point eight two kilo j. So we convert to polar form, which is eight point seven four kilo angle sixty three point four three bar. Okay, for line three four, the real power is I three modulus squared R. So we use ninety seven point one six six squared times by zero point one four. So we will get one point three two two kilowatt. Next reactive power, which is I three modulus two X, which is equal ninety seven point one six six squared times by zero point three five J, and we will get three point three zero four kilobar. So the apparent power is P plus J Q, which is 1.322 kilo plus 3.304 kilo J, and we convert to polar form, which is 3.56 kilo angle, 68.19 bar. Okay, next we will find the overall apparent real and reactive power. Okay, firstly we calculate the apparent power of the circuit which is we can use ST equal to VT times by IT conjugate. So 402.297 angle 38.56 times by 171.19 angle negative 6.6 degree. So we will get 58.430 kilo plus 36.454 kilo J bar. So after we convert we can We can conclude as sixty eight point eight seven zero kilo angle thirty one point nine nine six V A. Next, we find the real and reactive power can be determined by using apparent power, which is P T equal to fifty eight point four three zero kilo kilowatt. Q T equal to thirty six point point four four zero four five four kilo J bar. And the power factor of the circuit can be determined by power factor equal to cos theta, which is equal to cos thirty one point nine six. And after we convert it, we can we can get zero point eight five, which is system is lagging. Okay, next we will continue to power triangle. As our friend mentioned before, this is the power triangle. Which is we can get the total Q is thirty six point four five four kilo J bar. Next power is equal to fifty eight point four three zero kilowatt and S equal to sixty eight point eight seven zero kilo angle thirty one point nine six bar. 
form power triangle also we can relate if with Pythagoras theorem which is um, if you want to find the sign we can relate with Q over S if you want to find cos we can use P over S and tan tangent Q over P okay next we will continue with the task 2 which is Based on the network that you design in task 1, design the power factor correction system that helps to improve the system power factor to 0 0.98 lagging. So the given new power factor is 0 0.98 lagging. So from the power factor, we can determine the phase angle, which is by using the cos theta uh, formula and the cos inverse theta, we get the theta is 11.48. And we, we're using the Pythagoras theorem, tan theta, Q nu over P, and we will get uh, 11.871 kilo. And uh, to get the QC, we will need to minus the Q old versus the Q new, uh, which is 36.45 minus by 11.87, we get the 24.58 kilo. And to find C, we need to using the 2 pi FC, uh, v, v square over 2 pi FC uh, formula, we get the 0 0.48 millifarad. This is the comparison between the uh, new triangle and the old triangle. As you can see, uh, the less steeper the triangle, it is a more better. This is a voltage transmission line. Line 1 to 2, line 2 to 3, and line 3 to 4. 3 to 4. We calculate this because we want to make a, a comparison with the simulation after this at task 3. Okay, next is task 3. By using multi sim, perform an AC power analysis using the network that you design in task 1 and evaluate whether the values that you obtain in task 2 are correct. So this is the first uh, first step in the multi sim we we construct circuit. This is our circuit. And then we find the impedance by using the SC analysis. The okay, first we will get the uh, V1 here 8.97 uh, sorry, Z, Z1 here, 8.97 Z2 here, 4.13 Z3 here, 2.47 And lastly, Z total All of the impedance here, we got the 2.35 Okay, next Step 3, we find the current by using SC analysis Okay, this is the circuit that we construct So for I4, we get 34.75389 angle, 3.19094 degree. For I5, we get 65.28338 and angle, 48.29273 degree. And I6, we get 97.05231 angle, negative 19.15202. And this is for I total, which is 170.85625 angle 6.32793 degree. So, as we can conclude, this is for I4, I5, I6, and this is for I total. Okay, next is find the voltage supply. Okay, this is the voltage supply that we get from the simulation, which is for. 402.88 angle 38.46 degree this is to determine the complex power which is 68.83457 kilo angle 32.13207 same as our calculation result for this uh, reactive and real power also same with our calculation
Okay, this is the for old power factor which is 0.85 and this is for new power factor which is 0.98 For this circuit, we add a capacitor which is the 0.48 millifarad Today we will continue our presentation with find the voltage transmission line Okay, this is a voltage transmission line that have been done by using multi-sim the first one is a uh, water transmission line between line 1 over here and line 2 over here this is water transmission line between line 2 and 3 which is over here and over here and last uh, the water transmission line between line 3 over here and line 4 over here so this is a comparison between calculation and simulation the percentage error show us how many percent that it will affect our calculation this is comparison uh, in a voltage transmission line line 1, line 2, line 2, line 3, line 3 and line 4 the analysis the power factor correction is a technique of increasing the power factor of a power supply Switching power supply without power factor correction draw current in a short high magnitude plus. This plus can be smoothed out by using a capacitor. A capacitor can correct power factor only if there is inductance in the circuit, like inductance from uh, long power lines. So in here, uh, the uh, conclusion can be made that the objective of the experiment was achieved which is put a, a power factor correction which is we put a capacitor acting as a power a capacitor bank the capacitor bank we have a, the system in a leading and lagging so the system will be no current losses okay thank you that's all for from our group